Hey everybody, happy Monday. Boy, that weekend went by fast, didn't it? Whew, can't believe we're already here already. And we didn't really even do anything this weekend. I don't know why it went by so fast. <laughs> well, I hope you guys had a good one. Hopefully you can find me. I'm a few minutes late today. There's a lot going on in here. <laughs> and I forgot to give the dogs their distraction. So I had to do that. Um, Let's see, make sure I'm in the right place. Okay, good. So today we are doing Peaceful Cabin. I think that I have had the most, um, let me make sure I'm posting this right place. Da, 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 yep, okay. Um, I have had the most requests for Peaceful Cabin than anything else. <laughs> and it's one that I have drugged my feet on, but I love what we've got today. So I think you're gonna like it too. All right, let me run through some things. Let me get all of that set up. Let me run through some things. Today is the last day to register or to subscribe actually to Club Create. This is December's Club Create. No, no, tomorrow's the last day. So you have today and tomorrow. Last day to subscribe. Then, so, well, Club Create's $39 a month. I guess I should tell you what it is. Club Create is $39 a month. You get about $20 in product and five projects. That's what we're making this month. Um, it's all using the In Symmetry Bundle. I also give you the opportunity to add this on to your kit if you want. Um, and when you do that, I pay the tax and shipping on it. Um, so that link will be here. When I'm done, I will update it. There's also a Club Create tab at the top of my blog. If you want to go look at it, you can find it over there. The deadline is the 7th, right? Tomorrow's the 7th. Yeah, the 7th, December 7th, okay? Now, starting December 8th, you will be subscribed to January's kit. Now, if you're a subscriber, you don't have to do anything. You will stay a subscriber until you unsubscribe, which you can do anytime. Even if you just wanted one month's kit, you can subscribe and then cancel. So totally up to you. But if you stick around for six months, you get a $25 product credit. You get to pick out $25 in product. So if you stay or you are a new subscriber beginning December 8th, that will be for January's kit. And are you guys ready for a sneak peek of January's kit? It is the Sunshine and Rainbows Adorableness. It's actually called Rainbow of Happiness. Um, the bundle is in the spring catalog. The gorgeous designer series paper that coordinates is in the celebration catalog. So this starts, subscription period starts December 8th. Two really cute pink kits <laughs> in a row. Um, this is, again, December's kit, little gift card gift set, and January's kit, okay? Using lots of that pink. You guys know how much I love my pink, and it's been many, many months that we have not been using our brights and our pinks. We've been in the holiday colors, right? Hi, guys. Good to see you. Um, let's see. The next thing I have to offer you is the calendar class, and my daughter and I actually started working on this um, this week, and there's going to be a lot of die cutting that we have to do for you guys. Um, for this kit. It is a calendar, a desktop calendar. It sits on an easel and it uses this amazing stamp set that's available in the annual catalog. Um, you can get the kit with the cat, with this stamp set or without it. Here's the other thing. Because this doesn't have any images, I used 12 different stamp sets, all that were used during Club Create. So if you are a Club Create subscriber, you most likely have all of them. Um, the list of what I used is on the blog post. If you go to pinkbucker.com and you scroll down to the bottom of today's post, there's a link. Click that link and it'll take you to the, the page that tells you all about the Days to Remember calendar class. 12 calendar cards is what you're gonna make. This is a class to go, delivered right to your mailbox. Um, and you get, you're also gonna get these what are they called? What a year, memories and more cards. You're gonna get a pack of uh, twine and a pack of pearls, and you're gonna have a project to do in January for the new year. It'll ship right before Christmas, so it won't get to you before Christmas. It'll get to you in probably late December, early January. So you'll have something new to work on. Okay, so that's that. Um, the all-star tutorial bundle for December came out last week. If you were a subscriber, I already mailed it to you. 
emailed it to you. There are 12 tutorials, all featuring the Bloom Where You're Planted um, suite. They're each designed by a different Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and they're all videos. I have not, if you've put in an order since December 1st, I haven't met, emailed these out, but I will do that today. I'm behind. My project is a different kind of desktop calendar using that awesome bundle. Um, you can get this for free if you spend $50 with me online. You can also buy it for $15 in my PDF store. Okay, I'm going to set that there so I don't forget to do that today. Um, I thought I had more to tell you. Oh, I have um, a few more of these Be Jolly card kits. This was my class to go in November, and I cut them way ahead of time because I didn't know how many I'd need, and I have extras. Um, they will look like this when they come to you. Of course, I have to add in your um, product. I have the kits ready, but I'll have to get you your pack of paper, your, your um, elegant trim, and your rhinestones. And I can mail them as soon as I get all of that. So if you're interested in 10 cards using the Be Jolly stamp set, let me know. I have them waiting <laughs> to go to their new home. Same with the um, Pretty Pillow Box class kit. You get a bolt of that, um, that ribbon and those rhinestones. Um, again, I don't have the product right now for them, but I will get them the day that you purchase the kit. So it will all go out to you very quickly. Um, but I do have all the projects cut and prepared. I just have to add the product in. Okay, so that's that. Um, last chance list. Don't forget we have a retired list. It's called the last chance list for the holiday catalog. I checked right before I went on and in the United States, these are the things that are no longer available. The, um, um, pink frayed ribbon. I can't think of the name, the whimsy and wonder designer series paper and the stitched snowflake dies, which I'm really upset about because I just finished designing those projects yesterday. <laughs> So we may have to mix some things up uh, next week because I did have that on our schedule. But anyway, there are things that are 50% off, um, including some dies that I'm going to be using um, at the end of the week. So you're going to want to check that list. Um, if you, this is similar to Facebook Friday. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, I do three projects and then I send them to everybody for free who puts in an online order of $35 or more. So I'm doing that still, although I'm not doing a Facebook Friday, I'm doing a Facebook Live almost every day. So what that means is that if you get your order in by Monday, which is today at midnight, um, where do I, do I have those three projects? I should have showed you, I had them. I was working on cutting those Well, they're over there. Let me grab them. The three projects that you'll be getting for free if you get your order in by Monday at midnight, is this card and the penguin card. By the way, penguin punch is on low inventory again. If you haven't gotten it, get it. And then the um, peaceful deer treat box. So those will be the ones that go out on Wednesday. Starting tomorrow, we'll start a new um, seven days of earning free, free projects that come from the next few days, okay? If you haven't checked out the schedule, here it is. I know it's backwards. It's on today's blog post. Um, today we're doing Peaceful Cabin. Where's my Peaceful Cabin? Right here. Boy, you guys have been wanting this. And I will tell you, this was a challenge for me because it's not my normal set, my normal type of set. But I do really like what I came up with. Tomorrow is the sweets and treats. You know, the little cloche, little glass thing with the little treats. That's what we're doing tomorrow. Okay? And then Be Jolly on Wednesday, Great Tidings on Thursday. I love my Great Tidings projects. And then there'll be no live on Friday. We, my mom and I rescheduled our trip for Friday, okay? Okay, so that's that. Oh, here's what your make and takes will look like if you want to get those orders in by tonight at midnight. Um, there is a host code. I will update this post with that host code as soon as I'm done. And when I flip it down here, you'll see the host code on the table as well. Um, you'll need the stamps. And you'll need the, the penguin punch, the deer punch, and the frosted gingerbread dies. Um, but everything else I will have for you. Embellishments, um, and there'll be a little thank you tag, which is what that is. Okay, so those are free. It's like a free card class. That's how I used to do my local classes. It, it would be free with an equal order. Not equal, with a minimum order. 
Okay, prizes. Today's winner is Nicole Anderson. Nicole, you're getting the Knit Together bundle. Congratulations. And because she filled out the form, I have her mailing address and I actually have the label already printed. So today's prize is going to be the Frosted Gingerbread Bundle. Um, so if you don't have this and you would like it or you want maybe to win it and give it to a friend, make sure you go to my blog, scroll down towards the end, there's a link, click that link and just fill out the little form to be entered to win. I will pick a random winner tomorrow at two o'clock for our Facebook Live. Okay, my desk is cleared. Let me turn you guys around. I do have to tell you guys, you might hear it in the background. <laughs> Today they came and they pulled up all the asphalt in the street. Literally, they were out there and they have a, what are those digger machines? And they dig, dig, dug up all the asphalt. It has been noisy. It has been crazy. Right now they're out there spraying. They put rocks down. They're spraying with water. And I guess they're getting ready to put new asphalt down. We had a, a water main break. A few weeks ago, thank you, Direct or AT and T, <laughs> and now they're here to fix it. So if you hear beeping and bumping and all of that, there's nothing I could do about it. It's crazy. It is crazy. I was going to film a video. Actually, I was going to film two videos today, and that did not happen because it is so loud. And my office is right at the front of the house. My door, my window faces the street, so. <laughs> it's been crazy. The post isn't showing up, Kristen. Let me check it because I did check it. Let me see. I see it up. Yeah, I see 12 Days of Christmas Peaceful Cabin. Is that what you're talking about? I see it. It's up. Oh, Debbie, it's windy and cold there. Yeah, it got windy um, here as well. It does say December 3rd. Yeah, that's the day I typed it. Yeah, but it, it is today's post. It has a photo and it says Peaceful Cabin on it. Okay, well, let's get started. First thing you're going to notice about this card is I've done something really fun to the card base. I am going to score lines down the front of my card base. Let me get my Simply Scored. And then I'm going to take my Real Red Stampin' Blend and add those lines in. Okay, I wanted to add a gingham-ish background, but I wanted color. So I decided to make my own. So one thing you will see though, I don't know if you guys can see, is that my marker left marks on my Simply Scored. That doesn't bother me, but if that bothers you, you might wanna use a ruler for the second part, okay? So I've got a very vanilla card base, and I'm just gonna take my scoring tool, and I'm gonna score it every half inch. All right, just half inch, half inch, all the way down, stopping at that fold score line. Okay. And then I'm gonna turn it, and we're gonna do the same thing this way. Half an inch, half an inch, half an inch. You could do a quarter inch if you wanted a tighter check. All right, now that we have that, I'm gonna take my um, dark real red stamp and blend. Whoops. Let me get my finger in there and I'm going to draw those lines across and my marker for the most part is going to stay in those lines because I've created that score line already. And because I'm using my simply scored underneath, which helps you guide that in like that. Okay. All right, let's turn it this way. I always have trouble getting this one in the corner. I think I'll come back to that one. Come down. This is where you gotta be careful. Make sure you stop right there at the fold. My marker looks like maybe it's running out. So I'll do a few extra swoops. Real red, dark, it's probably my most used stamp and blend here in the last couple months. <laughs> I've used it quite a bit. Okay, let's see if I can get in here. There we go. Okay, so there is that. See how that works out? You could even go back in with a different color 
in between and do a different color at the quarter inch marks between the half inch marks. I don't know, I think I, it's kind of fun. Okay, we're gonna stamp, where are my dies? The dies are really interesting. And I'll tell you, they kind of, they kind of had me tricked a little bit. Um, what this is designed to do is designed to stamp the cabin, and then when it cuts it out, it's gonna also cut that snow edge. That's not what I want with my cabin on this card, but if I were to do that, that would be a cool option. We are gonna use the trees. Uh, if you look closely at my card sample, you'll notice that mine, I didn't plan ahead, so I did a strip down here because my very vanilla was too short, but we're gonna do it the right way, okay? We're gonna stamp these trees in, let me grab old olive over here. Hello, everybody. Yep, the link is at the, towards the bottom of the blog post. It's in the same place every day. I just copy and paste. All right, we're gonna do this in very vanilla. I mean, uh, old olive on very vanilla, okay? Then we are going to stamp our cabin in soft suede, and I'm gonna do it on craft. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there, okay? Then there are these little tiny foxes. Foxes? Is that the plural of fox? Foxes, did I not get it out? I did, oh, right here. Did I get my orange? I did not. Let me grab pumpkin pie. And we're gonna cut out two of the foxes. And there's two different dies that you can do with a fox, which I found really interesting. You can do the edge like this. So if you just wanted to have like a snow edge where that fox is on there. But I just wanna put him elsewhere. So I'm gonna use the little die like that, okay? We're also gonna cut out, um, a vellum row of trees to kind of separate our trees from the background. All right, let me make room, get everything out of the way. Put everything over here. Okay, now, I'm not gonna be able to do all of these at the same time probably because they are big. So let's do, Let's do the trees. So you can line those up like that. All right, so then you can see when you take that off, the trees stay connected to the landscape. And then we're gonna do the cabin, now the cabin's gonna stay connected also. I need some, I need some post-it tape and my post-it tape is missing. What? It's totally, oh, here it is, here it is, okay. So I'm gonna use my craft paper, it's warped, so I'm gonna use my post-it tape to get this. You have to kind of look at all points to make sure they're all lined up. Okay. And then we'll put on our little baby fox. I mean, I don't think he's a baby, but he's tiny, so tiny. Okay. Now we're gonna have to use our scissors to cut the rest of that cabin out. Okay, so there's that. See how it left that landscape on? But we're gonna trim it. I didn't go all the way to the end. That's why it's kind of just hanging on there. All right, let's do our other fox. And then we're gonna also cut out a row of trees from the vellum. Okay, just up here like this. And I think we're done with that. 
Let's make sure we don't lose the tiny fox. So tiny. All right, so we've got that. Now, I'm gonna stamp the sentiment on here. Let's cut this out. This piece doesn't feel like it's big enough. I hope it is, let's see. Yeah, okay, it's big enough. All right, so just use your scissors to go along the edge of your cabin. Again, don't, don't worry too much about it. It doesn't have to be perfect. We'll stamp the sentiment in real red. Um, Patty, your craft is like that too. You know, I, I ordered several different packages of craft that were like that. And I just assumed they were all like that. But then, I guess maybe a month or so later, I ordered more and it was flat. So I don't know if some came that way and then some came flat, who knows. But it still works. Still works. Oh, come on. We're gonna use craft in the next project too. I love craft, craft paper. I bought a roll of it at Hobby Lobby on uh, Saturday. I like to use it to wrap presents. Hobby Lobby has all their wrap, their Christmas wrap, 50% off every year. So I try to find wrap that's there that can be used for the rest of the year because their wrapping paper is the best. It's thick and it has lines, cutting lines on the back. So it's really good. Okay, where did I put these? I put one right here. And I put one right here. Little fox is sneaking through. And then I'm just gonna put those trees kind of up like that, just to give us some division between this and that. I felt like there needed to be something in between there. So that's why I cut out the vellum. Okay, we'll add more dimensionals, of course. How many dimensionals is too many? None, I say. All right, I'm gonna just do like that. So it's kind of like maybe the shadows of the trees and we're gonna trim that off right there. Now, before we put this on our card, I also got the little snowflake stamp and we're gonna stamp the snowflake, snowflakes in smoky slate around like that. Turn your stamp each time you stamp so that they go different directions. Okay. All right, now we've got our piece. We're gonna put that right there. And I think I will put dimensionals down here. And then I will get, oh, I'm almost out of tear, and, I mean, a stamp and seal. So let's just use a little bit of this because this needs to be flat against the card since we already have dimensionals there. Okay, and we will put that right there. Now you've probably seen a lot of peaceful, peaceful cabin cards using that peaceful, what's it called? The gray paper, the peaceful something paper. You know, it's all gray and white, but I really like color. I wanted more color with mine. So I decided to not use that paper. All right, a little very vanilla twine across the top, and there you go. All right, I like it. I do. Took me a while to figure out how I was gonna use the stamp set, but now that I've used it, I love it. All right, now, our next project is a 3D. And I designed this next project not with any specific treat in mind, which I do a lot of times for you guys, but this one is just kind of a, Fill it with whatever you want kind of treat, okay? And we're gonna use the pillow box die. Let me grab it to make this, all right? See how we made like a little bag box thing here? All right, you guys see? And this is a lot of trees here. So if you're gonna make a bunch of these, you can minimize the trees. I do, I'm doing two sets in three different colors, which is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, so don't feel like you have to use that many trees if you're going to use um, this many, um, if you're going to make a lot of them, okay? All right, let me get my things over here. 
let's make, um, let's see, let's make, which part do I want to do? Here's the pretty pillow box die, which I absolutely love, and it is carrying over, hooray. I've cut two of those, which we'll use in a minute. Let me get all my pieces. I have pre-cut our trees, so we don't, I don't have to cut them all, but I'm going to show you how I stamped them. Okay, let's see, what do I wanna do first? Let's make the box. Because we, the box, we need a piece that is six by seven and a half. So what that means is that we're gonna to have to make a piece bigger because the craft only comes in six by six. So all you have to do is Create your own piece and then cut it down to the size that you want. Okay. All right, now let me get my trimmer. And we're gonna cut this. It's already six inches this way, so we want it to be seven and a half. Now, this um this um seam right here, I want it to be on the inside so I can't see it. So I'm gonna make that in the middle. I'm just gonna kind of put that there and cut. And then I'm gonna measure to seven and a half. Open up my arm here. And we'll turn this to seven and a half. Okay, now we're gonna score this at two inches on all four sides. And we're also gonna um, add some, oops, ah, wrong. Boop, forget I did that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be hidden, don't worry. Two and four, two inches on all four sides, okay? So let me fold that in so you can see what I did. That, and that, and that one, and that one, okay? Now, we're gonna put a pleat in the side so it will pinch closed. And in order to do that, let me get my pencil, do I have a pencil over here? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put a little dot right in the middle of this square right here, okay? It's, there are two inch sections, so I'm just gonna put a dot there at one, one inch from each score line. Then I'm gonna grab either a ruler or your bone folder, and I'm gonna use my scoring tool. You can also use your take your pick. You have a scoring tool in your take your pick tool. And I'm just gonna add those score lines in there and there from the bottom little corner to that top tick mark, okay? And then what I always forget to do is, is get, fold them before I put the box together. All right, so fold them, make, I like to go both ways, get it nice and pliable so it will move the way you want it to move and it'll pinch easily, okay? Okay, now on the four corners, we're gonna cut the corners off, okay? We're gonna cut like that and like that, and then you're gonna cut in on the score line like that, okay? So that's what you have right there. So cut the corner from the score line to the score line score line to the score line, and then in. All right, so that's what your piece looks like. Okay, like that. And then when we fold it in, we're gonna be able to pinch those. Make sure I got them good. We're gonna pinch those like that. All right, I think I'll use Tombow. We are very muggy here. Actually, a cold front has just blown through, so it's very windy and cool, but it's supposed to get muggy and warm again in the next couple days. What's with the weather this year, you guys? I know up north you guys have been having warm weather too, a lot of you. It's weird. All right. Fold those in. Like that. Fold those in. Like that. And fold those in. And these are just my dollar store or maybe Walmart, little clothespins, 
that I use to hold it closed, okay? So there's the inside of our box. We'll let that dry. We're gonna stamp the cabin again in soft suede on a piece of very, whoa, that just almost slid off the table. A piece of very vanilla. No snow yet. Wow, that's weird, isn't it, Judy? That is weird. All right, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put it over towards the left side because right here, look, it's real short on that side when it cuts off the edge. So if you were to put it there, you'd have to maybe continue the cut with your scissors. All right, and I'm just gonna use the For You like that. Oh, looks like it's a little crooked. Eh, that's all right. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Okay. Now, we're gonna stamp the trees three times, okay? We're gonna stamp them in pear pizzazz on pear pizzazz cardstock. And we're gonna cut these apart, so I'm not too worried. Let's see, is this gonna fit? I'm not too worried about getting that landscape line. Okay, so you need six of those. And I don't think we use all of them, but you have, to, you have to stamp three at a time anyway, so. And then Old Olive on Old Olive cardstock. And I have two pieces of that. Okay. And then last but not least, we've got Mossy Meadow. And we'll do that two times. One there, and one there. Okay, now that's gonna require six sweeps through the cut and emboss machine. But I have them already cut ahead of time. I was planning ahead, but we do need to cut out this cabin. So let's bring the cut and emboss machine back over. And we're gonna put this right here okay let's see if i can get that down without it moving okay i think i did pretty good all right now here are those um pillow box pretty pillow box shapes and if you're gonna make the pillow box, you're just gonna fold that over and put those in, but that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna put them like this, all right? But before we do that, I'm gonna put these things on here and I'm gonna um, tuck those trees down in there. Let's see, how do I wanna do this first? Let me think, I can't remember how I did it. <laughs> that's a problem when you work far ahead, you forget forget what you've done. Well, we have to cut all these trees apart, okay? So cut them apart. Don't worry about the bottom. Just chop them off. You're not going to see the bottom. All right. And then we're going to put them all on here kind of in a varied, you know, we don't want all the same color. Now, I got this idea. If you look in the back of the catalog at the cabin uh, bundle that's listed back there, I kind of got this, this tree idea from that card. I loved that card. So I borrowed that from, from this, for this project. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna start arranging my trees. All right, we'll start with some of the tall ones in the back, like this. And we can trim all this off at the end if things are sticking out. You can even run it back through with the pillow box die if you wanted to. And it will cut everything off in the right area. You know, it'll match the side the sides of the um the die. But you can also just slip it over and use your scissors if you want, which is what I'm gonna do. 
Some of them I'm cutting apart the two, but I think some of them we can add in like that. See, I'm just I'm just freeing it, free willing it. I don't know. We're just we're just trying things. Some of you are probably like, I have to have it planned perfectly. Not me. All right, now let's see. Oh, I know I need some more over here. I think we need a little tree over here because we want that. Okay, now let's see. Is that enough trees? I think maybe we need to stick some down in there. Okay. Well, that one feels like it's a little bit too tall. So let's cut off the bottom and stick that down in there. There we go. And maybe we'll do one of these. And I'm not worrying about how I'm cutting them because they're, I mean, the only thing that's showing is the tops of the trees, which the die cut out. Okay, now let's try that again. Look and see how it looks. Okay, I think that looks good. I might need another one there, but we'll put it together and we'll see how it looks. All right. So that it's even with all of this, all of these uh, dimensionals that I used, I'm actually going to put a stack of two dimensionals to go across the bottom. So it will be high enough. Um, so that it's not like flying out from the bottom, if that makes sense. All right, so put this down right at the bottom like that. Let me make sure that's, yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna take my big scissors, which are right here, and I'm just gonna cut off the edge. But again, you can, if you want, take your die and put it back in so that it's going to cut off everything that's sticking out. That's what I did the first time, like that, see? But I'm not going to do that because really we can just cut it. We can just trim it to match. And I kind of like that tree sticking out like that. Okay. Can you guys hear the construction trucks from where you're at? They're very loud. I can hear the beeping and the, you know, the roaring. Is that a noise? Roaring. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it is. I thought, you know, I know sometimes little boys love those trucks, those construction trucks. I even thought about posting on my neighborhood page, hey, if you have a kid that loves construction trucks, come over to our street. You get a close-up view of digging up the street and how fun would that be? Okay, so see how I put those overlapping like that? That's what it looks like. And you can't hear them? Really, you guys can't hear them. Excellent. Oh, ran out of adhesive. All right, perfect. Because I think I'm done with that kneading that. No, maybe we'll need a little bit more. All right, let's take our box and put that right in the middle. It should fit perfectly. Okay, push that in, and then it'll pinch close like that. So, also, you're gonna wanna put some adhesive here on the sides probably, but I just ran out of adhesive, so I'll just, I ran out of my Stampin' Seal, which is what I'd like to use, but we'll just do this for now, okay? Look, cute. Okay, now we gotta finish it. I'm gonna take these two, match them, punch a hole with just a hole punch. I have one of the smaller hole punches. And then we'll get some gingham ribbon. I'm gonna use the gingham ribbon every chance I get. If I can get that threaded through there. Fill it with candy or I don't know, cake balls. My kids love to make those cake balls um, at Christmas time. Or you could do cookies, you know, put cookies in a bag and put them in. The possibilities are endless. It's big enough to hold cookies, but not so big that you have to, you know, make a ton or give out a ton. All right, I feel like, did I forget anything? No, oh look, that one is white and this is vanilla. Hmm. Which do I like better? I think I like the vanilla better. Well, the ribbon is white, so maybe we should do white. 
Does it matter? I don't think it matters. <laughs> okay, you guys. There you have it. Two peaceful cabin projects. I hope you guys like them. A little bit different than what you see online, I think. A um, little more bright and festive. I did look a lot on Pinterest to try to get some ideas. And uh, wanted to try to come up with something a little bit different. Okay, so that's it for today. Remember, tonight's a deadline. If you want those three projects for free, um, the penguin card, the frosted gingerbread card, and the peaceful deer treat box, make sure your order is in tonight, Monday, by, what is today? Monday, December 6th, right? The 6th, 2021 at midnight. Use this house code. Unless your order is over $150, don't use a house code because then you're going to get um, free stamp and rewards and I'll still send you the projects for free. Okay, you guys have a great day. I'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place, two o'clock central with two sweets and treats projects. Have a wonderful afternoon, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye.